welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Courtney Lauren. For those of you who are new, welcome. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, click that bell so you get the notifications when I make a post. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Today, I am going to be making Cajun chicken and shrimp pasta. This is definitely one of my favorite recipes, so I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And I hope you enjoy this video, and let's hop into this recipe. All right guys, let's get right into this recipe. So here I have four boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I've already cleaned and cut all the extra fat off of. I have about a half a cup of shrimp. You guys, when you are cooking shrimp, you really wanna make sure that you clean the top of the shrimp and the bottom. Usually the bottom has that vein that's kinda of sitting down there and the top is the digestive tract. So you really wanna get that really cleaned up. I have a big bunch of baby spinach. I have a half a small onion chop, some green and red bell pepper strips, some heavy whipping cream, olive oil, some minced garlic, and five ounces of shaved Parmesan cheese. And for our spices, we're using garlic powder, slap your mama seasoning, onion powder, some smoked paprika, along with some salt and pepper. And then we also have some butter as well. So these are all the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. So first I'm going to be measuring out um, some seasoning for our seasoning mix that we're making. So I'm going to be using one tablespoon of everything. I'm going to first start with a tablespoon of our Slap Your Mama seasoning. Um, I have a little bowl here, so I'm going to be putting all my seasoning in so that we can mix up later. I have a tablespoon of our smoked paprika. We're going to do a tablespoon of our onion powder. a tablespoon of our garlic powder, and then we're also gonna do a tablespoon of black pepper and salt as well. We're making a pretty good amount of this spice mix because we're not only gonna be seasoning our chicken with it, we're also gonna be seasoning up our shrimp. And then I also like to sprinkle in some of the seasoning while we're actually in the cooking process too, which you'll see later. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little spoon. I'm just gonna go ahead and evenly mix all the seasonings up so that everything is nice and blended well together um, before we start to season up our chicken. So as you can see, everything is evenly blended together and I'm just gonna take a little teaspoon and I'm just gonna start sprinkling our seasoning right on top of the chicken. Um, you're gonna wanna season both sides of the chicken. So first I just go in, season all the tops and then I'm gonna flip all the chicken over and then I'm gonna season the bottom as well. So after I'm done seasoning up the bottom of the chicken, I like to just take my clean hands and just um, kind of massage all of the seasonings into the skin. Um, this I think helps to kind of lock the flavor in and when you're cooking a lot of it doesn't kind of like fall off the chicken. So um, just go ahead and massage that seasoning right into the skin of the chicken and then um, that is pretty much ready to go and it's all seasoned up. So now that our chicken is nice and seasoned, I'm gonna go ahead and season our shrimp as well. I'm gonna grab a bigger bowl to help um, this mix a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna put my shrimp into a bigger bowl and then I'm gonna sprinkle about um, two spoonfuls of our seasoning right into the bowl. And then um, I'm just gonna grab another spoon on the side and then just kind of mix this around just so that this uh, shrimp gets nice and evenly coated with that seasoning mix as well. and our shrimp is nice and seasoned up and ready to go. So now we can um, begin cooking. I'm gonna be using my copper pot again today. My stove has already been um, preheating as well. So um, we're just gonna add about one th third of a cup of olive oil right into the bottom of our pan. My stove right now is on about a five if you have a um, one to 10 stove. Um, just go ahead and evenly coat that oil and then we're just gonna place our chicken right in um, our pan. 
We are using thin cut boneless um, skinless chicken breast so this does cook fairly fast. Um, I would say 10 minutes at the most it'll be done. Um, so I actually do have four pieces. I could only get three in the pan but I saved my most thin piece to go in um, last once my chicken kind of shrinks up a little and I get a little extra space because since that one is so thin it'll be done at the same time the other pieces are done that are a little bit more thick. Um, so like I said, I will cook this about five minutes on each side. Um, you just want to get that real nice golden sear. And then after it's been five minutes, you're going to flip it over to the other side. If your chicken is a little bit thicker than mine, like I said, I'm using thin cut. If you're using um, regular chicken breast, you're definitely going to want to adjust, adjust the cooking time and cook it longer um, because it will need longer to cook if it's like a bigger piece of chicken. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and add that fourth piece right in there. That's my thinnest piece. And I'm just going to cook my chicken until it's all seared up and done. And after 10 minutes, I'm just gonna grab a plate and set my chicken right on the plate so it can rest and we can move on with the rest of our recipe. So now that our chicken is done, our next step is to go ahead and cook our shrimp. So we're just gonna go ahead and place that shrimp right in the same pan um, with the oil that we cooked our chicken in. Shrimp cooks very, very quickly. I would say no more than five to seven minutes and the shrimp will be done. You definitely don't wanna overcook it because it becomes very tough and chewy and we definitely don't want that. So I usually just cook it for a few um, minutes on one side, flip it over and then cook it for a few minutes on the next side. And then um, once it starts to curl up a bit, take it out the oil you definitely don't want to overcook it especially because we're going to be putting it back in our pasta later and it will still get some cook time then as well so you definitely don't want to overcook your shrimp like I said five to seven minutes at the most and you should be good So our shrimp is nice and seared up now. We're just going to grab a bowl, um, place our shrimp in our bowl, and set that to the side as well. And then um, we're going to move on and start making our um, Alfredo sauce for our pasta. Look at that shrimp. It's golden. It's beautiful. It's just perfectly cooked. All of the above. <laughs> so next we're going to add two tablespoons of butter right into our pot and let that melt down. And then next we're going to grab one tablespoon of our minced garlic and put that in our pot as well. And we're also going to put our onions in. And then after the onions, we're going to drop in our bell pepper strips as well. And once we put all of our vegetables in, we're just going to saute this together for about four to five minutes. Um, you're really just looking for those onions to become a little bit soft and translucent and for um, your bell peppers to get a little bit tender. During this process, I also do like to add in a little bit of our seasoning mix that we made. Like I said, we're going to be using this throughout the entire recipe and that's why we made so much of it. So go ahead and put about two spoonfuls of that right into the pan and then um, give that a good mix as well. And we're going to continue to saute this for um, another maybe three or four minutes or so. Alright, so now that our vegetables are nice and sauteed, we're going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of our heavy cream into our pan as well. So once we add in one and a half cups of our um, heavy cream, we're going to want to cook this out for about five minutes or so just so that the um, heavy cream gets a chance to become a little bit thick before we start adding in more of our ingredients. So now that it's been about five minutes, our um, heavy cream is a little bit thicker than when we first put in put it in our pan. Excuse me. We're gonna go ahead and dump in our baby spinach and then just um, mix this around so that it um, becomes a little bit wilted and um, cooks down into our sauce that we're making. 
So now that our spinach is nice and wilted in with our sauce that we're making, the next step I like to start adding in our shaved Parmesan cheese. I like to do this in batches as you guys probably know from watching previous videos. Um, so first I'll just put a couple sprinkles in, mix that around, get it melted up. Then I'll do some more sprinkles of cheese, mix that in, melt it up, and then so on and so forth until the entire container is gone. I like to do it in batches because it gives the cheese a chance to melt evenly. If you dump all the cheese in at once, I find that it doesn't melt as well and you kind of get these clumps of cheese in your pasta that you don't really want. So if you do it in batches, it gives the, chance, uh, uh, the cheese a chance to blend and melt nice and evenly. Um, so now that we have added and melted all our cheese, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle in some more of our spice mix that we made. I like to just add one more teaspoon of that and then mix that all around as well. And you'll notice that our Alfredo sauce is starting to thicken up real nice. And we're going to wait for that to become bubbling. And now that it's um, nice and bubbly, I'm going to go ahead and add in my pasta. You guys can use any pasta you want. Linguine, spaghetti, penne, literally whatever. I'm going to be using some broken up pieces of lasagna that I had. I had so much of this lasagna, I'm like, let me just use this for this pasta so that I can get it out of my pantry. So, like I said, any pasta you guys want, that's totally up to you. That's your choice. So go ahead and mix that around. Here's a little razzle dazzle. I just grabbed some of that um, Parmesan cheese that you put on top of spaghetti and I just sprinkled a little bit of that too I mean cuz why not so if you have that add it in if you don't want to that's fine I just threw that in last minute like oh I got some of this let me put some of that in there too you know <laughs> so go ahead and mix up that pasta and we're gonna season this with a little bit of salt and pepper as well because you know when you have pasta it's very starchy and it needs a lot of salt to make it taste like something so we definitely want to season up our noodles with some salt and some pepper and just give that a good mix as well and you just really want everything to be nice and blended up and incorporated together all the noodles to be covered up with the sauce and then we're going to add in our protein so first i like to add in the shrimp remember add in the juices too you never want to leave out whatever juices are sitting at the bottom of your plate or your bowl you want to put that into your pasta because it just adds an extra layer of flavor so tossing those shrimp, that spatula was like slowing me down. So I had to switch it out for a nice sturdier spoon. <laughs> so once our shrimp is nice and incorporated with our pasta, the next step is to add in our chicken strips as well. I just went ahead and cut this up. You guys can leave it whole. You guys can cut it like I did. You can chop it you can do whatever you want with it i just like to cut mine in strips i find that when you're actually eating the pasta it makes it easier to like kind of pick up a piece with everything else so i just cut mine in strips that's totally up to you you guys can interpret this however you want but um after i put in my chicken i'm just gonna go ahead mix all of that around as well i want my chicken to be nice and sopped up with our fredo sauce i want it all to just be blended up together and our seasoning from our chicken is also going to get all up in there too so you know it's just going to be very flavorful and there we have it it's so so good you guys got to give this one a try i promise you you will love it and you will never ever again in your life buy jarred pasta sauce or alfredo ever again <laughs> So here is the plated up version. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. You can always put comments down below of other ones you want to see from me. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys.